Alright, this is Vegeta8259, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Master Grade Goof Custom. And a lot of you have requested that I review this kit uh, ever since I got it in the mail a couple weeks ago. So, here it is. Now, uh, I really, really like this kit. If you've seen the 8th MS Team, you'll know how badass the Goof Custom is. So, there's really no point in explaining it because I probably couldn't do a very good job. So, if you don't know what the Goof Custom is or what it's like, just go watch episode 10, I believe, of the 8th MS Team. And you'll see what why this kit's so awesome. Now, first off, uh, we'll do colors. He's a little bit different than the standard Goof colors. Whereas the regular Goof is like a royal blue this one is a sky blue and the torso is kind of a greenish a dark greenish blue and then he's got a little bit of black mainly just the knees and the feet chest and backpack and then uh, the weapons and the inner frame are going to be gray and he's got a little bit of clear for the face here and clear orange for the uh, cockpit there and clear, well it's not in there, but there's supposed to be a little clear camera in the gun there. <clears throat> Alright, for articulation the head is on a ball joint, it doesn't go up and down very much but it does go just a little bit. It rotates 360 degrees Go side to side just a little bit, not much. The arms can go 360, they're kind of stiff. And the shoulder, the, it's, the arm is attached to the torso via a uh, ball joint, so they can go forward and back a little bit and up and down a little bit. The shoulder armor is also attached via a ball joint, so it can go back and forth and wiggle around a bit. The arm can go out about as far as the shoulder armor will allow it to. Let's see. Get this off. Well, maybe not. There is rotation below the shoulder. And the elbow only bends about 90 degrees, unfortunately. And then the hands are probably my least favorite part of this model kit. I really like this kit, but I think it has horrible hands. I'll show you why. It's got a standard ball joint for the wrist, but what Bandai decided to do, instead of having a poseable hand, they have this, which the palm of the hand and the thumb are one piece, and use that for all the hand poses, and what they decided to do was give you three different sets of fingers. The just kind of neutral fingers, which you saw, a grasping hand for holding his sword, and then a trigger finger for holding a gun of some sort, which doesn't make much sense in his right hand, because his two guns are on his left arm. But, uh, other than being kind of lazy, in my opinion, on Bandai's part, they don't really look very well. Uh, I've decided that I'm just going to take the hands off of my Talgies, uh, that I, my high-grade Talgies that I did, that are B-Club hands. They're actually from a Gundam Seed uh, Zaku Warrior kit. Uh, B-Club hands. And just replace them with those because these aren't cutting it. Anyway, back to articulation. Uh, there's a little bit of articulation in the waist. You can go forward and back a bit. No side-to-side -side movement. And he can it's funny, there's a rotation joint there, but he's never going to be able to rotate because he has these cables that run from his backpack 
to the uh, crotch here. So there's a rotation joint there, but he'll never be able to use it. Now the cockpit opens. If I can get it open, it's kind of difficult to do so. Let's see. Ah, I'll use Goof Custom Sword. There we go. The cockpit does open, and you can see that nice clear orange piece, which I think was a nice touch. Uh, the legs, actually the skirt armor first. Side skirts go out a little bit and rotate just a little bit. The front piece is on a ball joint, so it can go up and down and wiggle around a bit. And the back skirt does not move at all. The legs can go forward and backwards. The hips are on a ball joint, and my camera keeps getting blurry. So they can go out and move around a bit. There. The knees can bend about that far. Now, I complained about this kit having bad knees, and it's just the way the knees are constructed on the inner frame are, is not very stable. So just be very careful with it because it has a, a tendency to break easily. The ankles uh, are actually pretty nice. They can go back just a little bit. They can go forward about that far. And then the inner frame of the foot comes off of the bottom of the foot so it can go forward even further. So that's quite uh, far for a Goof or Zaku or whatever Xeon kit that you want to have. Anyway, the signature weapon of the Goof Custom is his Gatling Shield, which is very nice because it takes the standard Goof Shield and mounts a gigantic Gatling gun on it. And my dog is barking in the background for some reason. But anyway, uh, it mounts on his uh, machine gun, which I guess I should have talked about first, but I guess I won't, and uh, he holds it just like this, and it's kind of heavy, I doubt you're going to be able to have him in this pose, because it's just going to sink down, but uh, if you just want him standing there, then it's going to, it'll be okay, uh, if you want you know, a really good action pose, you might have to stiffen that joint with some glue or whatever you may prefer to use to stiffen up joints with. Anyway, the Gatling shield is very detailed, has the nice feed belt right here with the giant uh, magazine, and all of these little cylinders on the Gatling gun are individual pieces, so it's all separate and looks very nice. Also, the shield has a storage place for his uh, heat saber, not to be confused with a beam saber, it's basically just a metal sword that heats up incredibly hot and slices through uh, other mobile suits. And you can store it in the shield there. Let's see, I think his, yeah, his last accessory is the electric... Uh, whip rod grappling hook thingy. It's basically just a wire and it's got the little grappling thingy on the end. And you take out this little gray bit on his wrist and replace it with this one. And now he can throw out his arm and electrocute mobile suits from a distance. It's actually I think it's probably nine inches long, so that's definitely a good distance. And I believe that about does it for the model kit itself. Uh, it does come with a unpainted figure of Norris Picard, the pilot. And uh, yeah, this is a very, very nice uh, model kit. I definitely recommend it. Um, there are a lot of screws in this kit, and uh, if you don't know, I really can't stand screws in model kits at all. Uh, that's one of the things I like about the newer Master Grades is that they've pretty much phased out the use of screws. And this is... Actually, I built this kit without even putting any of the, the uh, screws in. 
I just left them all out and so far it stays together pretty well. I haven't had any problems. The shoulders tend seem to be kind of loose. I may go ahead and put the screws in there, but other than that, I don't see the need to even put the screws in. So with this kit, uh, yeah, I'd say don't even bother because it's just going to make your kit unnecessarily stiff. So that about does it for the Goof Custom, and I will see you guys next time.